Governor Cuomo hopes to test more New Yorkers for coronavirus, but how does it actually work? News 12's Diane Caruso spoke with a local doctor who breaks it all down. It starts off with a laundry list of questions. We're asking location, travel, have they had any contact with someone who's been tested positive for corona or is on quarantine. Depending on your answers, Eric Larson, an emergency room doctor at Wake Plains Hospital, who has more than 30 years of emergency medical experience at both the local and federal level, says if you're considered a higher risk to have the coronavirus, then your nasal cavity gets swabbed. Not everyone can be tested, though, not because there aren't enough testing kits, but because... Right now in New York, there's only one place to get tested, and that is the Wadsworth lab in the Albany area. One lab for thousands of coronavirus swabs from all over the state. Governor Andrew Cuomo, who is aiming to get nearly two dozen additional labs approved to test more New Yorkers, echoing that issue in an afternoon press conference. The laboratory has to have the capacity to then perform the test. That's where we have issues, the number of labs that can perform the tests. Another important fact. If you feel you may be sick with the coronavirus, you're urged to not rush to the emergency room. Instead, call ahead to make sure hospitals and doctors can prepare so others aren't potentially exposed. I understand. People want to get tested. They want to know. And we may get to that in the next week or so where we can widespread test people. So far, more than 2,300 New Yorkers have been tested. If and when more labs are approved, that number could increase exponentially. In White Plains, Diane Crusoe, News 12. Meanwhile, the White Plains Hospital has a coronavirus hotline for those who may be sick or would just like some more information. So the number is 914-681-2900. The hospital says it has already received more than 3,000 calls.